Hey guys, um, this assignment, I want to show you guys a little bit more in depth on the type tool. Um, it has a lot of features, uh, do a lot of different things with it, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, again, if you haven't started, you know, making your document setups uh, correctly, we'll go to File, we'll go to New. You should now have documents in your Recents, alright, but we can go ahead and go to Print if you have not done so. Remember, you can always title it from here. And we're going to title this the Type Tool Activity here inches okay so don't take very long guys on this one I'm gonna go right over to uh, this is the shape shaper tool go to the pencil and it's a shortcut just make a simple path okay something like that doesn't matter what your path looks like and then over here if you right click on the type tool you'll see you have a whole uh, set of options that you can do and this one right here type on a path that's one I want you guys to go find and then you can see as long as I see the word path and let me zoom in so you can see that okay if I come in and you can see the word path and you click it'll put in some dummy text alright so now you guys can just go ahead and type on this something really simple a catchy little phrase done alright done with that part All right, I'll zoom out so you guys can see now I'm gonna go to uh, the circle tool All right, or the ellipse tool, and I'm just going to draw an ellipse, simple ellipse. Okay, if the fill color drives you crazy, guys, you can just go up, take that out, give it a stroke. There we go. I'm going to zoom in on this. Okay, on this, guys, uh, I'm sure you guys have all seen lettering on shirts, logos, whatever, um, that has like an upper arc and a lower arc. I show you guys how you can achieve the same thing using the effects and the warp tool. But now I want to show you guys how you can start creating your own paths um, that are similar with the upper or, uh, arc and the lower arc. All right, so. But you need your scissor tool, and that's under the eraser, okay? And C is the shortcut for that. And again, I'm going to zoom in here. And what you're doing is, I'm going to hit C for the scissor, and then I'm looking for that anchor. Okay, whoop, there it is. Click on that, and now you see that I have handles, all right? That's because I cut that. Now I'm holding down the space bar, and just coming right over here, so I can use my hand. And I'm going to cut that, and then I'm going to zoom out just a tad. Again, hold my space bar. And now, V for my selection. And now you can see that I have two separate paths and I can separate those. Okay. So on this one, uh, again, write a catchy little phrase using, again, that type on a path. Make sure you see the word path before you type on it. And then you can type. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom in. Oops. I'm going to zoom in on this so you guys can see what I'm about to do here. You see these little handlebars here? All right, these allow me to move my text. Okay, this one allows me to expand my text. I'm oh, too close here. Oh, wrong one. All right, this one will allow me to span it the distance that I want. Okay, and then I can get it in there the way I want. On this one, again, I can come down here. I can type on that path. Okay, and then I can use these bars to get it somewhat located underneath. And then this one, you see how the arrow is pointing up? This allows me to just flip my design up and then I have this so this would be a great you know you can put an image in there if you guys would like to yeah please do so but this is just another way to use the type on a path tool okay next I'm gonna go ahead and create another artboard come over here and I'm gonna go to the internet here and I want to show you guys some examples that I have I've already saved this one okay um, let's go ahead and go back 
and all I typed in guys was uh, silhouette art okay and so I can see quite a few silhouettes that I could possibly use uh, for a thing called type in an area tool all right you could even use the pen tool and create your own path or your own area sorry um, but it, it just it's up to you right and then obviously you would pick a silhouette art that probably depicts what it is that you're trying to say what you're trying to write um, how you're feeling whatever the case may be okay so again just go find something save it if you'd like to do a silhouette art another thing I want to show you guys is text art okay so you guys can see here that this is art using text um, either to convey an image a graphic um, you know a message whatever the case may be you have it all we have presidents we have games we have inappropriateness um, you know we have love we have the female we have uh, we have the eye so um, we have the rabbit all right we have the young boy we have our president we have a crisscross geez where's the man oh here we go here we got the man we got the president anyway a lot of things you guys can do we have uh we have some sports this is text art so if you guys uh are are like actual you know paper to pencil artists or pencil to paper sorry dyslexia um you guys can create some pretty cool um art as well right so anyway let's go ahead and get to it so i've already saved that image i'm just going to go to place and i'm going to find that wolf and what's awesome about this is is it's silhouette art okay remember guys make sure you're embedding your images once you get it in there okay I even forget to do that all right and then that back to that image trace okay I could trace this with the um, but for what I'm doing this will work great but I could trace it with the pen tool all right and awesome silhouette art this is oops silhouette art and there you go you see it's uh, done very well and then I'm just gonna go ahead and expand that and then what I want to show you guys is look how it took out the border already at least it did on mine all right, uh, it worked really well. So now I'm, I'm going to come here, and I'm going to take out the color, give it an outline so I don't lose it. All right, it, remember if you don't have a stroke, it's still there. It's just invisible; you can't see it. Um, you just need to use your selection tool and select around it to, to find it. All right, here we go. So a lot of times, what's going to happen though on this guys is you're going to have to select this, and you're going to have to right click and you should have to release oh wrong tool get your so direct selection tool then right click and then oh all right you if you cannot get the type in the area tool to work you might have to right click and come and see where it says release compound path or maybe even make the compound path so we'll see what which one it is it's going to be for me so i'm going to come over here right click and then I'm going to go find that area type tool. I'm going to select that. I'm going to come over here. If I see the word path, I should be good. And I do not. So I'm not even going to mess with this. I'm going to select this. I'm going to right click and I'm going to make a compound path. I did expand this, right? Okay, I'm going to delete this. I think I did something wrong here. All right, let's see. Embed it. Silhouette, trace it. Expand it. I do have to ungroup this one. There we go. So what I had to do there, guys, is I had to ungroup that. I don't know. I'm not sure what happened. I must have forgot a step. So you have to image trace it. You have to expand it. You should probably have to ungroup it. And then once you've ungrouped it, then you can right click again and then come to release the compound path. Okay. After you've done this, everything else should work for us here all right give it a red stroke here all right so here is my area get my area type tool and click and there you can see that it put in the text for me and then again guys I can just backspace and I could begin to type okay uh, on this one what I suggest is maybe go and maybe find a favorite song 
find um, a favorite quote, a phrase, um, uh, maybe you know a story that you like to tell, um, whatever the case may be. But do type something in there that's worth worth reading, okay? And then uh, I think that'll be it on the type area tool, all right, and the type tool. You guys, have any questions? Let me know. All right, see ya.